What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about HBAR today. Hedera Hashgraph, we're talking about it, and I am I'm not excited about it, man. I mean, I, I know there are people in the space who are excited. It might have a good bull market. You know, I'm not talking about that, but in the near term of things, um, this is a pretty big candle. It's a pretty big, pretty solid bodied red candle to the downside. I mean, relatively speaking, right? The last time we saw candles even close to this size was when we were moving up here. We haven't seen anything remotely that close except for red, right? So we, we had a candle, we had potential here to go up, but it just gave it back on immense volume where the wick was bigger than the body itself. So that's not encouraging, let alone the fact that this huge, humongous candle ensued afterwards. Um, I do think that it looks Hedera Hashgraph does look like that's not that's not the right one is it something like that maybe maybe not I don't know to me it looks like it could go a little lower but this is also kind of a nice area to bounce off of I think it looks like that I think on the weekly RSI it looks like it's in this nice like higher low kind of range right now but truthfully you guys I think like most cryptos it's not it's not special or detrimental because of what I'm about to say, but I think like most cryptos, it hasn't found its low yet. And if it has, I think what it's going to do then would be to form like a double bottom. But I do think, sad to say, I do think that this low is going to be taken out. I do think in turn this low will be taken out. And the question really at hand is will this low be taken out? Because if that answer is yes, then Hedera Hashgraph is looking, we're at five cents right now. We're looking to make a move down to about 2.7 to maybe 1.9 cents, somewhere in that range. And that could happen, that realistically could happen for more than a few reasons. So looking at this again, ooh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, I might need some water, man. Looking at this fib range here from low to high, right? What we've done with it is whenever we came down, we actually broke right through the 618. We kind of disrespected it, which is not a good thing to see. And then we came down, we found support on the 886, we closed at the 786, and we came back, we rejected off the 618, which is not a good thing, but you broke above it, which is a good thing. Okay, cool, finally. Found support on it, even, good thing, but then you rejected the 236, now we're back below the 618 and finding resistance on it again, which generally signals a look like this, an overall look like this, would generally signal that you would see extensions, okay? And there is still hope. There is still hope that you might not, but that lies within not this low here, but probably this low. Because I would think that if and when we break this low here, that this insignificant low is not going to promote much uh, support. I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know. My, my genuine opinion about HBAR at the moment is that it probably does see this range. I think that you know there is slight potential that you could form a double bottom somewhere around here, sure. But just being real with you guys, I'm not I'm not optimistic. I think that this weekly RSI is one bad week away from instead of being in this higher low range to being in a lower high lower low setup, something that sends us into this oversold zone. Um, and that that to me would make sense honestly and then from there you know maybe you form some kind of like bullish divergence where you have higher lows overall but you have lower lows I don't know that wouldn't really be bullish divergence honestly but but to some degree you'd be bottoming out in an area that you've bottomed out before um, I wonder if there's anything else that might line up with that from that low to that high there let's see do these fibs line up? Look at that, man. The 1272 lines up perfectly with that 1618. It literally, like, they're, they're right on the same thing. So that's that puts a lot of weight, I would say, on that 2.7 area. Not only that, but you actually have a good bit of support coming in right over here as well. Um, maybe I can move that line down to here. Yeah, somewhere in somewhere in this area. You know, down in the lows there, you can see it, it overlaps with that area as well. So previous area of support potentially being support once again. Um, I don't know if I said all-time lows. I might have said all-time lows a second ago, but maybe not. Maybe not all-time lows, just relative lows. I'm sorry, I didn't. I forgot about the rest of the chart here. Um, if I did say all-time lows, maybe I said new lows, but not. 
If I said new lows, I'm good. But if I said all-time lows, I'm wrong. Because I don't think that we're going to take out these lows. Maybe we go down to them eventually. I, I don't know. Let's see. I keep redrawing this fib. I don't think we would. I mean, you do have deeper extensions down around this area. The 2272 is literally in line with that. But I don't, I don't think you do. I personally wouldn't say that um, unless this thing has something wrong with it. Um, you know, at that point, I don't know. But, but looking at it, you guys, I do think it's going lower. Looking at it very plain and simply, I think it's going lower. You are finding resistance on this purple line here where you found resistance before. You have found support on it before. Resistance here. Resistance faked out. <clears throat> resistance, resistance. Then you broke up above it, back tested, and found support. Support, support, resistance. I think we're going down. I do think we're going down. You didn't get any volume really on this uh, pump up. I mean, it, it was a little bit of volume. It was more than what we've seen in a little while, but nothing compared to what we saw before on this move up. Um, nothing compared to what we've seen on like these moves up over here. So I do think that we're going to go lower. I think this is a lower high. You were testing a previous area of support as resistance. Potentially you're, you've confirmed it, lining that up with the purple line as well. And your daily RSI, because we looked at the weekly RSI, your daily RSI is finding resistance at the point five, or the, the 50 area, which is also an area that you found support before. So this this does look weak, in my opinion, on the daily RSI. The weekly, again, it doesn't look weak right now. I mean, kind of, but not really. Um, it is below the 50, but you're finding support on the 40, but it's one bad week, one one decent red week away from looking bad. Um, just break out of this like upward trend line that you have here, and it'll, it'll definitely change its look. Um, what else is there? I don't know, man. Prove me wrong on that. I guess the best way to prove me wrong would be to go to about, what would it be? 5.6, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Let's take it, let's let's do this real quick. Let's see. Come on now. That's not what I wanted, all right. So you did break below the 618 and you're, you're holding below it still, man. So I guess the first step would be have a week, have a day, have an anything that closes above the 618. Okay, you had it right here, so really probably above the purple line then. You wanna have a week that closes above the 618, but you wanna have a day that at least closes above this purple line. Start with that, and then from there, keep going. Don't find resistance on your 382, get above it. If you can do that, then I will, you know, I'll admit defeat, this was a low, and I think that you are potentially going higher. This will look from like one of the, the not as good looking charts in crypto to one of the better ones, at least for the immediate term time frames. As far as the overall bull cycle goes, you know, I don't know what HBAR has in store for it. It could go, it could go up a lot. It could be in store for new all time highs, sure. Um, it might not though. All time highs from the current price would only be about an 11x. If it was to achieve new all time highs, uh, we could see prices somewhere at around a dollar and twenty five cents, potentially even up to three dollars and thirty cents, which would give it a twenty five to a sixty four X somewhere in there. And it might not do that. You know, it won't do that if it can't break its all time highs. So so let's just monitor this thing, see how it goes. You know, I do think to a certain degree this looks kind of like a diamond bottom. It almost looks like a diamond bottom. Let me let me see. Let me draw this here. Diamonds are just showing up everywhere, man. Uh, maybe like that. I don't know. Um, for those of you who are like, well, the wicks are outside of it. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a characteristic of diamond bottoms, di diamond tops, diamond patterns. They actually do. They're known for having wicks outside of their trend lines. So that's what's kind of nice about it. You can, you know, maybe we're in a diamond pattern. Maybe we're in a diamond bottom. Interesting, interesting there. Yeah, this is on a weekly too. Like this is a pretty big diamond pattern. There's hope. There's hope against all the bear stuff that I've said. There is hope. Um, but diamond patterns are not. I know that I said diamond bottom, but a diamond bottom, unlike an ascending triangle where where the ascending triangle at the bottom or an inverted head and shoulders is a bottoming pattern. The diamond bottom is both a bottoming pattern and a continuation pattern and or, right? I mean, it wouldn't do both. You can't do both things at the same time. Continuation as in continuing to the downside. It's literally like split 50-50. <clears throat> so it's inherently neutral pattern. It really is. 
and, I, and the way that you would measure it is you would take the bottom to the top of the pattern, if I can get to it right there, and then you would go to the point of break, which let's say it's here. Um, let's take that original fib and throw it back on there from bottom to top here. Look at that, man. It comes pretty well with that 618. It's right there. Could we blast past the 618? Sure. You can. Wick These lines are not stone walls. They're like lines in the sand. You can definitely go past them. It's fine. Do you have to even go that low? No. You could. You know, there there is uh, failed targets, right? Where where you attempt to hit a target and it doesn't. What, what's the word I'm looking for for a failed target? Um, it just doesn't reach it. I don't. I don't know what the word. There there is a term for it, but I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, to the reverse effect of that, you know, if we were to break to the upside, putting this at like potentially where it might break on the white line there. Um, to the upside, <clears throat> you can see prices go all the way up to about, you know, you'd have a target price of about 15 cents there, which would be a 3x from here, and that would take you about to this purple line here. Um, from top, nope, that's not the top. Top, 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 top. At the point 0.5, I would expect you to continue to go on, but you could find resistance at this area and then turn around. So, I mean, there's, there's you know, potential significance lining up both ways previous area of, of support you could find it as resistance um, it's very common you guys for diamond patterns whenever you break out of them for them to be high velocity like very high velocity right like you see how fast it was moving into this pattern it would move that fast out of it right um, they're also known for a decent bit of the time it's not that it happens every time but they're known for this where you break out you move back up to the the point of breakout you back test this line even sometimes and then you go down and then you go down dramatically but they are known for high velocity both when they're coming down out of the breakout whenever they back test it and then whenever they pursue their uh, measure move um, right there so so I don't know watch for that I think I really do think this is a diamond pattern it fits to me it fits all the uh, the metrics it actually looks it, it just looks perfect truthfully it really does. So <clears throat> watch for this. Watch for a breakout. Again, it can wick outside of it. So what, so what you want to see is a weekly close. You want to get a weekly close either to the downside or the upside. If we're up above it, don't get psyched out. If, I mean, none of these, I guess this one was down below it. But if, if you get here, it's down below it too. If you get down below this line, don't get psyched out. Um, <clears throat> this might not even be drawn completely perfectly. You know, these lines could be tighter or a little bit wider. I don't know. A little bit wider there like that a little bit wider there kind of like that maybe maybe it's even up here you know if you want to be like really anal about it um something like something like that it gives you more time i just feel like that looks a little bit more wonky than than this did i don't know i like to have them tight but ultimately we'll see we'll see time will tell so yeah that, that's all i got for you guys if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe to see more i think h bar is likely to go down um, but time will tell. It's our it's our biggest factor, you know. Having this very, very, very again, very, very bullish or bearish um, red candle here on a weekly basis. It was basically a maru bazoo with this little wick, excluding this this little tiny wick here. Um, this this is a pretty solid body, <clears throat> and that makes me bearish, man. I really I I would like this as a bottoming look. It kind of looks friendly. But something's telling me it's going to go lower, and it's the charts. The charts are the thing. Is that something that's telling me that? Um, daily RSI is kind of neutral. Weekly RSI looks decent, but it, it's one bad week away from not being decent. Um, the four-hour neutral as well as the daily, which is fine. you know. So hopefully sooner or later we'll pick a direction. But I do think along with the fact that we are finding resistance at this previous area of support, finding resistance at the purple line, we've rejected the 618 on multiple different – Fib retracements, I do think it goes down. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.